Alright, time for a Wukong game. I will be playing against the Belveth here, which is okay matchup-wise for me. You have to be a little bit careful for her early on, I do think, but like after six and stuff, it should be fine for the most part. Place the wart there, eh? Interesting. See if she goes aggressive then. Let's figure it out. I showed myself there as well on the ward on purpose. Because this way I can recall like this. Put the ward here still. But like, she thinks I'm going to start topside potentially. Because she spotted me like that right. That is the idea behind it there at least. To kind of bait her into potentially not invading my topside. If she was planning on it in the first place. If she still goes to like start my raptor or something like sure. But she probably is going to do my raptors into my red. And even if she doesn't do raptors into red and just takes my raptors and leaves, I'll be happy with that. I really don't mind too much, honestly. Ooh, took him one hit with the shield, my guy. Look at that. No tornado? Oh. Get this cleared. I'm gonna go for a nice four camp to top lane, I think. Definitely gonna clear these three bot side camps uh, for sure. Because for Wukong, they are pretty, pretty doable, really. No bell, that's one of my uh, red buffs so far. She is mid lane, in fact, level 2 mid lane. She just insta moving for my topside camps here or something. You you died to that gank? Wow. I'm impressed, actually. I'm not, I'm not even kidding, I'm kind of impressed. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm just kind of impressed. I feel like that's a pretty hard one to die to. Are you kidding me with this? Flash that, unfortunately. Otherwise, I just die. It should be free. Really? Really? Wow. She has flash and exhaust as well. I'm just surprised she didn't just flash on top of Belveth. Wow. I don't know, that feels kind of bad. I'm uh, not gonna lie. Definitely feels kind of bad. I should have played that fight a little bit slower, I think. Waited for the vein to get closer in range before I took a bunch of damage. Interesting. That's not the game you want to see at the start, at least. This way, at least. You know? A little bit of a yikes. Got a recall in. Also, another thing. 60% of people watching my videos aren't actually subscribed. If you are one of those people, consider subscribing. Checking if you're subscribed. And, uh, yeah. She, gonna, she has flash and exhaust. There's... She filled her thing. I can use this to get ahead of her. Huge. Very good. Am I gonna have I should have enough time for blue here. I probably shouldn't have smited the scuttle now, if I think about it. If that if that leads me to not getting this blue buff, I just hard griefed it, really. Use this for some damage. Oh god, this is gonna be super close. I think I hard griefed it by smiting scuttle there. Please don't tell me this cost me this. Who didn't, but that was super close. Holy moly. I almost griefed myself so hard there. I think I saved them. Yeah, I definitely saved them. That's good. She is CSing a lot better than the Ziggs is, at least. That's good. I can just run bolt here. They should be super free as long as Nautilus doesn't walk all the way back here. I just feel like I should go for this guy instead with red buff and such. Good. Very, very good. Good job. He walked up. He got the hook. We're happy. Solid stuff. 
I'm going to quickly do my Gromp and my Wolves here and then recall so I can have these camps be reset, basically, or be resetting while I, like, clear from top to bottom. Again, that's going to be good. And the Scuttle on the River, I don't really care about. If the Belveth takes that one, she takes that one. I want the priority on my leveled up camps here over a level zero Scuttle, basically. This guy is hard trolling right now. That is an easy death. If he sticks around, he should be walking away. He can't break this freeze. Even, like, I guess he, he might... He kind of accomplished it, I think. But that was a risky uh, situation for him anyway, because the Vel Belveth can easily show up there. Okay, we are looking pretty good now. Can get my nice back in. Uh, I mean, I have the Futures Market to ensure that I get this item on the first back, but now I definitely just get it. Get the, the TMAT for the clear speed. This makes Wukong more consistent. Um, a lot of situations with Wukong these days, that's why his win rate is so bad, honestly. I've tried a lot of build variations for Wukong to see what's up, right? What I found to be the best is just go Futures Market with a Tiamat Rush into CDR Boots. By far works the best every time for Wukong. And then after that, you can build from there, really. But this helps you so much with consistency of clear speed. Just Emacs with Tiamat and you're one-shotting all your camps, which is going to give you a lot of clear speed, a lot of consistent tempo. So even if your games may not go too well, which is a big problem factor for Wukong generally when it comes to jungle, he's a very snowball heavy champion. But with this, it's way more consistent. So it allows for, well, weaker games, weaker snowballs, and still have a lot of tempo out of it, if that makes sense. Oh, hmm. I think she's already a goner, yeah. She had flesh. I think she may have been able to use that to survive. But to be fair, like, eh. I understand he's pushing mid here, but I'm just going to do this. Hit level 6, go bot lane, get a double kill. Oh, you are joking me with this. That is depression. I just need a minion to die or something. I died to this? Okay, I'm... I'm oh, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Minions, minions, minions. Holy moly. I'm not gonna reach her, she's too fast. I wonder if she gets the execution off here. I think she will. Yeah, that's sad. It is what it is. Oh, leveled up Scuttle, that's good. Yeah, that kind of ruins it, man. If I was level 6 there, she would have been just dead in the ground. There's nothing she would have been able to do, but I was 1% XP off, and I could not get XP from the wave there, unfortunately. It's still good for us, like, overall. I survived it, it's all good. Pretty sure they used, used like, all their summoners and stuff as well. I do lose my red and my crux for that, most likely, but it is worth it to me there to get the bot lane, that lead. Because now they don't have any summoners anymore, and Yasuo just hit 6. So this is going to be a Nautilus ultimate into a Yasuo ultimate, guaranteed undodgeable, and that's going to be a serious problem for them. Is that all but that's not too bad. If I would have been 6 there, that would have obviously been insanely good, but yeah. Alas. A Rift Herald, okay. Eh, she probably means I still lost my red buff, but... That might actually mean she's gonna go dive top lane right here. Dude, this is some aggressive positioning. That's still here. I need to check my camps. Fair enough. That's down. I expected that much. She left this camp, I guess. I guess I'll do this and I'll look for a top gank, maybe. I'm assuming she's going to put that Herald on mid lane with a Ziggs. Makes sense, because that's just instantly killing a turret. Okay, let's see if I can maybe lane gank this situation. There is the mid lane gank like I was expecting. My Syndra didn't really, though. She is still alive. That's good. She committed everything. Basically, she should be dead here. Okay, good. Took the turret aggro, stalled her out. Your turret has been 
Yeah, that mid turret's a goner, unfortunately. Uh, I'm running. Maybe I should have just gone mid lane faster. That Rift Herald, I should have... Oh, she has no mana. We lost two mid turrets real quick there with the Ziggs. Dude, how do you die to this, man? You knew that was going to happen. I went in at exactly the wrong time when she pressed that with her damage reduction. Otherwise, I would have killed, but now I don't. I just lost two entire mid turrets, my guy. Oh, my God. I don't understand why she's sticking around either. She has literally no mana. Okay, I'm going to die here. This jungle diff, he says. I think I'm giving him a smiley face on that one. Just... <laughs> ah, jungle diff. That's funny. I mean, sure, she has died a lot to ganks, so I can understand why she says that. But in return, like, she has died so many times to ganks when she could have literally just stood under her turret as well. She has no vision. She dies constantly to the randomest stuff, you know? Ganked under your turret? That's not simply not true, Syndra. It is simply not true. That's just a mute. Okay. Good die. Oh, sad this. Ah, oh, she has full HP. Yeah, that Rift Herald situation, I probably should have been mid lane, though. Instead of going for the top play, but, you know. My place is at Are you kidding me with this? Good. Uh, I got exhausted. That's extremely unfortunate. My ult also wasn't up yet for a little bit there. The dragon. We both flashed for that one. Are you kidding me? Those are some terrible alignment skills. Okay, that's very good though. We both flashed for that one target there. That was not ideal. Ooh, I might actually be dead to a Ziggzult here. It doesn't look like I am. Okay, good, good. I need to be on, make sure that she doesn't get another Rift Herald. Rift Herald is extremely strong on Belveth, but combining that with a Zix on top of everything is just... It's just insane. Actually gonna just clear my camps here, I think. 360 for Trinity Force. Trinity Force is by far, like, the better item these days, because... Divine Sunder kind of sucks, so we just go Triforce instead. Still want that Sheen item on Wukong and everything, but, you know... for a bit. Farm on both our sides is kind of low, I will say. Quite a lot of active ganks. Just, like, this is exactly what I mean, though. Like, look at him. <laughs> look at this guy. Look, two turrets down and you're walking here. I'm not surprised you were dying, buddy. Like, it's just so unsurprising to me. Futures market buy-in. It's just so obvious, like... <laughs> I, I honestly find it kind of amusing, I'm not going to lie. Oh my god, you are dead. It is just kind of amusing, like, you... you there is no way in your head, right? Like, anyone in their, head, in their right mind would walk up, like, after two turrets like that. All she has to do is just, like, kind of stand there, just wait, and I, like, do something, you know, farm our wolves at that point. Mm, 
No, we'll never reach that. Sadly, it's okay. Really wasn't expecting to chase like that in the first place, but... Please clip him! Good. Good night. Make sure to use your W for the mobility ahead of them as well. That little dash helps a lot. Like you saw in that case. I had a feeling Ziggs was going to look for like some type of bomb situation there because he, I'm pretty sure he knew the recall position of my teammates. So he's going to look for something there and then, you know. <laughs> oh boy. I should have dashed the other way, I think. I'm dead here. She doesn't have a dash towards me right now. Oh, uh, I guess she does. Are you going to hook him or ult him or anything, buddy? Where is the CC? I guess it's kind of unfortunate. I should have just... Uh, what I should have done here was just uh, W and then dash down. That would have been better. Because now I just died. I will basically walk straight into him like an idiot. That's my bad. That one is on me. Mm, I'm not going to buy any of those, actually. I need the money. Yeah, that's 100% just my bad. Like, I positioned myself poorly. No ult, no backup from team. 1v3, never winning that one. Is what it is. The scaling on this game, I think we should have it covered. For the most part, I don't think we are in that much trouble when it comes to that. And when we hit, like, mid to late game, I think we should be fine. We have, like, Wukong Yasuo combos and all that. Oh, it's down, unfortunately. Out. Dash is out. I need this Nautilus to walk with me here. Ah, she flashed on me there. I think Yasuo has this. I think I set set him up pretty much as best as I can. Good flash. Please don't walk up, Yasuo. Just do not... Oh, my Syndra died once again. How oh, unsurprising, actually. <laughs> <sighs> well, whatever. Ziggs barely lived there, but I trade my life for three people, so I'm happy. It's not bad. I just hard committed to the play with the uh, ultimate there so to get the other like, situation better. Zero six, my boy. Let's back up. My journey only begins. They will not be able to win this one. Team, please do not allow this. He smited first for HP there. Wait for a target opportunity. I'm not going to turn this around. I'm just gonna leave. Shut down. I can't turn that around. I got the dragon. It's probably the best we're gonna get because it's a 4v5 since Syndra is all the way to top lane. Enemy kill. It is okay. Actually, dodge that one. I didn't get that one. It's okay. Uh, it's what it is, really. I at least got the dragon so I can be happy about that situation. She's like she was forced to smite early for HP, which she didn't. Then I can just clean it out. Get this real quick. Dudes, what is this? Why is my Syndra not cutting this off? Please, Syndra. This is just an instant stun for this guy. Yeah. 
Look at how easy that was. Thank the Lord that she actually did something. I'm not going to do this, Baron. That would be way too dumb. It's okay. They can't Baron here either, I don't think. I mean, I don't have to... I I'm not, must not disrespect Belfast damage on it, but... Go for this. Never settle for second. Someone did take this. Interesting. Your team has destroyed I'm happy that the Cinder actually actually like picked up on that one on the map and actually walked towards it to cut them off. That is huge. That is really what I needed. Got the Hydra here, and then we'll build some armor, I suppose. I got the. My only Let's get a bunch of armor here. I think the. Frozen Heart's great here. I'm gonna go... F I'm gonna be low on HP if I do that, though, for a little bit. Because what I want to do at this point in the game is switch these boots out. For sure. Switch the boots, get the Frozen Heart. That's an instant finish. They're both dead here. How much I can do. They played that smart, the enemy team right there, because they played it apart from each other, so my ultimate wouldn't do too much. I'll just use this. Vayne's foot pushing bolt line. There's the FF foot from Syndra, obviously. Uh, it's not gonna be good for me is it that stun is like 55 years late as well sadly it's okay it's a small shutdown i got a double kill out of it i guess it's fine so first thing we're doing is we're switching these because it's a big damage difference right now and then we're just gonna build for the frozen heart i'm gonna keep my hp low for a while with this but frozen heart's extremely cheap so this Frozen Heart combination with Steel Caps is going to allow me to survive against most of their damage, apart from Ziggs. And then I'm just going to build uh, some HP, I think. I don't know in what form yet. Probably a Black Cleaver if I'm looking at it right now. But clean combo there from Yasuo. How is this guy worth a shutdown, League of Legends? Are you kidding me with this? Holy moly. Imagine being worth a shutdown when you're 0-6. That is some next level stuff. Seen that? Uh, that's like one of the better memes I've seen lately, League. Riot Games. Holy. I lost my Grump there for on, on like really no reason, but sure. I'm a little bit afraid that they actually do the Baron. They have quite a lot of Baron damage. I wonder if they would be doing Baron. We're just gonna rush it, are we? That is probably the worst decision on planet Earth. Oh god. Oh god. Go for this guy first. Huh. That worked out for us, eh? Six is still alive, though. I'm gonna go commit to this real quick. Dead. Ah. Uh. Bane! Please, don't go for the AFK wave move my right now, right now. Thank God. She ran fast enough, fair enough. 
I gave it an attempt. It's okay. That is huge, though. I have my uh, frozen heart now, which is great. Now I just need a little bit of HP. I think the best move is just go for offensive HP and go for cleaver. Gonna up my damage at the same time. This guy's stacking some armor here as well. Gonna be the best way to go. Like, Cleaver also gives a ton of ability haste, which is great. And attack damage, of course, which are all good sets for Wukong. So I'm gonna go offensive HP here. And then lost item we'll see still. I'm not sure. But with these steel caps and the frozen heart, as you saw throughout that fight, it was very tanky. Apart from, of course, the Ziggs. I'm considering the Maw, potentially. I don't think I got seen by that. Scout the Ziggs, maybe. I'm gonna force him down so he gets okay well he gets flashed on uh best move is over this wall i think i think it's worth it i'll flash for it i, I don't know if it's necessarily worth it but this probably allows for baron go oh, what are you doing 30 seconds on smite, but I think it should be okay. I prefer turning. Turn. Nautilus needs to turn. This is huge. That's what, exactly what we need. Let's just allow me to move, game. Allow... Uh, hold aggro on Baron here. Like, without Zix, they have nothing, basically, for Baron. But that's why I did it the way I did it. Just flash for the Ziggs, get him out as fast as possible. So that allows us time to actually start up the Baron. And make that play happen. So this is very good. The faster the Ziggs dies, the better. Because then we can just start Baron like that. And then they have to kind of walk into us. I don't have Smite. But as long as my team turns, which they did. Uh, we should be fine every single time of the day. What? Why did you do that? That was so unnecessary. About this. Good. I need 300. How much gold is that with this? 300? Uh, 60. I need 250. I can get that with this scuttle and then my wolves, I think. That is a big item to get, though. Hundred and thirty, yeah. That's a. I'm gonna get that. I will get my dis and my wolves here, so I'll have it without. Really. That actually worked out so much better than I thought it would. Uh, I'll use this for some speed. Dash over this. I get slowed here, unfortunately. There's no way I catch this guy, right? Go this way. Good day, sir. You are a goner. What? Okay, good. I was about to say, the hell? That, that situation there with Cinder went a lot better than I thought it would. Like, she actually survived for quite a while. Probably because the Nautilus helped him, but... Do this. Get some magic resist. Honestly, I have so much damage at the moment. I think I can just get away with a force of nature. Ah, uh, just go straight to dragon. Is Cinder shit talking? I'm kind of curious now. I'm going to unmute the guy. I'm, I'm very curious what kind of talking this is. Uh... Please. What is this? Why are we 2v5ing? That is extremely unnecessary, especially when the dragon is spawning in like 10 seconds. I tried my best. I was CC locked for a very long time there. I think it's still fine. 
Because my team, like, I got such a good engage with, like, Yasuo ult follow-up and everything that my team, like, I, it's fine. I trade. We trade 2-4-4 four, four there. Yeah, that's pretty good. If I was just able to, like, not be, like, knocked up for so long, I'm pretty sure I was knocked up for quite a while there. Or, like, Polymorph, maybe? This one second CC is probably not accurate, if I will say. I don't think it's accurate, at least. But, you know... Hmm. I wonder if I should actually get the Force of Nature or if I should just get the Maw. I mean, I, I can easily just sell this, right? Like, it's not it's just 50 magic resist straight up, which is definitely just not a bad slot as is. But I definitely need some magic resist, but I'm just wondering whether Maw or Force of Nature is actually better here. I feel like doing the damage with Wukong makes more sense than having a little bit more health. But then again, I have no other... F well, I have a Nautilus, I guess. I don't know, man. That's a, that's a decision I'm not sure about, honestly. Hmm. I can think about it. I can see what it's like, like what I feel like on the next back, basically. It's okay. Got the blue here. And I need to wait for my team to be back on the map. Go for like a top lane and such. Could maybe look for like a flank on bot here. I wonder if I can make this dash. I'm going to attempt this right now just for... The okay, I can't. Okay, good. That's good information to know. That would be a kind of a broken dash, but Wukong has gone over some interesting walls lately. So, you know, there is that. They flashed right there. Okay, that's a 4v5 right there with the vein. I might have trolled there, but I think I made a way for vein there. Yeah, I did. My goal there was to open up their cooldowns. For vein. To allow their to allow her to go in which is what i did i took their aggression that's what i wanted and then vane can go afterwards it's a little bit of a risk but i thought it was going to be fine there honestly i feel like we should be backing My place is at the top. My hp is not healthy enough to go for something there Twenty nine. This sells for six thirty. No, no, no. I can buy the force of nature. I get. I'm just gonna buy the force of nature. I have the money for it. I wouldn't have the money for the maw there. So, we'll just get the force of nature and be done with it. I think it's fine here. It gives me the extra movement speed to help me stick as well, which I do like in this situation. And it's kind of good against like Ziggs, of course. So that's very good there as well. Just start it. We have massive Baron damage. It's fine. Should be fine at least. I don't think they can stop this. I'll tank because I do the least damage by far. Smited it there with like the same timing as Vayne hit. It's okay. Soul. If it comes down to it. Or don't auto attack the ward. Sure. <laughs> Whatever, man. I kind of do want this soul though. I don't know about this. We're leaving Cinder alone on top lane at the moment. Show me the path. Oh, my Nautilus is so far back. Sad this. I was so free because they all went top lane. Oh man, why did he walk so far back? She was so far up. That's unfortunate. But they all walked up there, so this should be quite a finish. The turrets, we should be good. And there we go. That is it for Wukong. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to like button below. Helps me quite a bit. 
If I can see more videos from in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.